So, um, basic rules of how I'm going to do this. If I ask them a question and they tell me they pulled it up in the app or the, they Googled it for me or something and don't tell me the answer, they don't get the, the, they don't get the point. If they tell me too much, it's not a big deal as long as the correct answer comes out in, in the middle of it because these things are obviously designed to teach. I won't be using the die. I will be asking them each to roll it. When I tried that with her, this is the Apple one, um, she, when I tried having her roll a die, she rolled two. So if she does that, I'll just take the first number she gives me. Everybody else only gave me one. Um, I'm going to see if they can pick their own colors, but we'll go from there. Uh, if you've got an uh, assistant, you've got this on speakers, it's going to get triggered a lot. I suggest you mute this bike microphone on it. I'm like, here's a mute button, there's a mute button on the back of that. I don't think you can mute either of these. <laughs> so, let me introduce them. Alexa, say hi. Hi there. Okay, Google, say hi. Hi there. Hey Siri, say hi. I can do that. Hello. Cortana, say hi. Hi. Good. Alexa, pick a color. Here is a color, avocado. Okay, green for Alexa. I should probably make some notes so I don't forget. Sorry about the delay there, I had to find a pen and some paper, okay. She is green. Okay, Google, pick a color. Yellow. <laughs> hey Siri, pick a color. Hey Siri, pick a color. Hey Siri, what's your favorite color? Software doesn't usually get to choose one, but I'll say yellow. What's yours? I need you to pick another color. Hey Siri, pick one of these colors. Pink, brown, blue, or orange. I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Okay, you get pink. Cortana, pick a color. I can't help with that right now. Okay, you get brown. You know, Microsoft likes brown. All right, now you, you each get um, one of each color. So uh, probably should have done this in advance, but whatever. Green, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we got one, two. One, two, three, four. Um, you don't have pink. And you don't have, I don't know. You don't have orange, there you go. Yeah, this is a little bit boring part. Anyways, I've been wanting to do this forever. It took me forever to accumulate all these assistants, and then I had to, um, you know, get a copy of Trivial Pursuit because you know I've never really liked the game. Um, and uh, now that I've got it all, I just needed time without any kids in the house so that I could totally take over the living room or kitchen or whatever. Okay, now each of them needs to pick a number. The one with the highest number gets to go first. Hey Siri, pick a number. Oops. A random number between 0 and 100 is 100. Yeah, fuck you. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Rolling. It's 6. six. That looks like a winner. Alexa, roll a dice. 2. Okay Google, roll a dice. 
year old six. to cut into small cubes. Unfortunately, I have her set to multiple questions. I have to wait for her to go out. Anyways, Cortana, roll a dice. One. Okay, so we have a tie between Siri and Google. Let's do them again. Hey Siri, roll a dice. It's five this time. Okay Google, roll a dice. It's four. Okay, we have a winner this time. So, um, and then obviously I'll be making the decisions which way to move. I'm gonna try to get each one of them to the spots that they need, um, these four. So if they land on, a, I don't know if you're familiar with the Trivial Pursuit, but if you land on a yellow, you get a yellow question. If you get it right, you get the yellow one. Then your goal is to continue to accumulate all of them until you've got all the colors. So, um, I'll grab my soda because I'm getting kind of warm and it's getting kind of cold in the freezer. Okay. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Okay. Four. Four. Siri is pink. One, two, three, four. We got orange, so I'm going to ask her an orange question. Let's see if I can get these on, on film. Hey Siri, who killed Oedipus's father? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. <laughs> Alrighty then, you lose. Now we're gonna go clockwise, so... Um, let's go... Cortana, roll a dice. Six. Six, oh, bold start. Let's go to green. One, two, three, four, five, six, green. I hope somebody's watching my stream. Anybody watching? I don't know. Oh, it says three. Cool. Okay. So, green. Cortana, who became the first boxer to grace a U.S. postage stamp? There might be something on smithsonianmag.com. Should I read it? No. I don't know. Should we ask her again? Cortana, who became the first boxer to grace a U.S. postage stamp? There might be something on tryfreesteps.com. Do you want to hear it? Yes. In 1993, Princess Grace became the first U.S. actress to appear on a U.S. postage stamp. The United States and Monaco simultaneously released a commemorative postage stamp on... Cortana, Rico. stop! That was wrong. Anyways, so, two down. This might be a very long game if nobody can just give me the answer. I tried the, you know, it had a question on the box and I tried the sample question about an elephant and um, one of these, I think it was Google got it right. So I, I figured that this game was going to be possible. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Rolling. No, they came up five. Yeah. And... Not cool. Alexa, roll the dice. One. One. Okay. Alexa was green, so. Hmm, I'm not sure. Give blue. Alexa, what ocean does the Amazon River empty into? Here's something I found on reference.com. The Amazon River flows into the Atlantic Ocean. That's a win. I want is you guys to tell me the answer. Okay, Google, roll a dice. You rolled one. Okay. We'll go with orange. Okay, Google, what war first saw American soldiers using their own homemade dog tags? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Hmm. Okay then. 
I would have at least programmed these things with basic trivia. Uh, oh, by the way, we're using the Genesis 3 version general knowledge questions. It's not some super hard to know stuff. Although I wouldn't know half of this stuff. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Two. And Siri was pink. Okay. Let's go for pink. Okay. Hey Siri, who turned down the lead in the Waverly Wonders to star Dallas? I can't find the answer to that, that on HomePod. Let me read properly. I'm trying to read this in the camera. Hey Siri, who turned down the lead in the Waverly Wonders to star in Dallas? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Watch this. I bet I can form it in a way that she'll answer. Hey Siri, who starred in Dallas? Which one? Here are some options films. Dallas. Dallas Buyers Club. North Dallas 40. Dead Don't Die in Dallas. Daughters of the Sexual Revolution. The Untold Story of the Dallas Cowboys Cheaters. Oh my god. Dallas. Do you want to hear the next five films? No. I give up. Screw it. So, that's another lose. I expected Siri to lose, so. Cortana, roll a dice. You rolled a four. And you rolled a four, but thanks. Pink. Pink, pink, pink. Okay. Cortana. What much-read poem did Ernest Thayer sell to the San Francisco Examiner for five dollars? Want to hear something related from Wikipedia? Yes. Casey at the Bat, a ballad of the Republic Sun in the year 1888, is a baseball poem written in 1888 by Ernest Thayer. First published in the San Francisco Examiner, then called the Daily Examiner, on June 3rd, 1888, it was later popularized by DeWolf Hopper in many vaudeville performances. It has become one of the best-known poems in American literature. All right, you win. Lots of extra information, but you know, you're there to teach me. Alexa, roll a dice. Six. this time. Oops, forgot the card on the floor. Hey Siri. No. Never mind. Okay. I always get those two mixed up. Alexa, what Yankee catcher once observed we made too many wrong mistakes? Sure. Gosh. Alrighty then. Okay, Google, roll the dice. You rolled four. Okay, so Google is yellow. One, two, three, four. Brown. We're going to ask Google a brown question. What are you. Uh, Okay, um, okay Google, what are you afraid will stick to the roof of your mouth if you have erykebotrophia? I can't pronounce that. Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, I bet you don't. Erykebutrophobia. Erykebut... Good grief. I'm going to pick a different card. I can't pronounce words. It's not its fault. It's just a simple word. How hard could it be to pronounce? Okay, Google. What was the philosopher's stone, the much sought goal of medieval chemist alchemists, supposed to turn base metals into? On the website Britannica.com, they say 
Philosopher's stone, in Western alchemy, an unknown substance, also called the tincture, or the powder, sought by alchemists for its supposed ability to transform base metals into precious ones, especially gold and silver. Alchemists also believed that an elixir of life could be derived from it. Alrighty, so that was more, uh, that was, where did this go? That was, did I read the wrong color? Damn it, he was on green. And I read brown. Shoot. No. Google is yellow. And I, I read brown. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm getting my, my players mixed up. Yeah, there we go. This is why I wrote it down, because I would be completely lost and halfway through this game, I would blow it. Hey Siri, roll a dice. It's six this time. Round for you too. Hey Siri, what mysterious surface did the Luna 3 spacecraft finally get a look at in 1959? Find the answer to that on HomePod. Of course you can't. That would make too much sense. Okay, so like I said, I expected Siri to fail miserably. It's, it's laughable when you try to ask her a question on your phone or watch. Cortana, roll a dice. You rolled a two. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Cortana, what 11th century equestrian was the wife of Leo Frick, Earl of America? Should I read a snippet from history.com that might be related? Yes. The original Lady Godiva was an 11th century noblewoman married to Leo. Okay. <laughs> you get that one. Um, yellow. You know, I think I may have thrown her off in that first one when I asked her a question. She asked if I wanted to read. If she, yeah, probably would have got the first one right too. Anyways, um, you know, I, I briefly glanced at the rules for this game. I hope I'm following them well enough. Oh, they're supposed to roll again. Alexa, who wrote the music, Gilbert or Sullivan? Here's something I found on Wikipedia. Alone Again is a song by Irish singer-songwriter Gilbert O'Sullivan. Okay, I guess. Okay, Google, roll a dice. You got two. Okay. Let's move you up to green. Okay, Google. What name did Anaheim choose for its National Hockey League franchise? On the website latimes.com, they say, an Anaheim Arena gathering of about 250, which included National Hockey League Commissioner Gary Bettman, Los Angeles Kings owner Bruce McNall and numerous Disney, City and Arena officials, cheered Eisner's choice, which came despite widespread criticism, to name the team after Disney's 1992 box office hit, The Mighty. The Mighty, huh? Not, he never said the full name. So you do not get this.
Hey Siri, roll a dice. Okay. One. One. Siri is pink. Purple. Oh, it says roll again. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Rolling. It came up too. I think you get to ask a question and roll again when you land on the roll again. I don't know. I could read the instructions. Anyways, you're on purple. Let's ask a purple question. Hey Siri, what horror writer did People Magazine dub one of 20 folks who defined the 80s? I can't find the answer to that on home HomePod. Hey Siri, what horror writer did People Magazine dub one of 20 folks who de defined the 1980s? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Worthless. What are you good for? You're just a glorified speaker. Cortana, roll a dice. You rolled a one. Okay, we're on the roll again. I, mean, I don't think you get the roll again because you didn't get it right. And you have to get it right to roll again. And we're on purple now, so... Cortana, what former Asian foe of the U.S. saw American Express issue cards in 1994? I pulled up those images for you in the Cortana app history. Wrong answer! It's not an image answer anyways, it's a freaking fact. And you don't get a roll again either. Um, sorry, I guess it's in my eye. Touched my face during the pandemic. Anyways, Alexa, roll a dice. Four. Go for green. Alexa, what did arbitrator Peter M. Seats Rule in favor of in 1973, changing ball, baseball forever. Hmm, I don't know that. Let me try pronouncing it better. Alexa, what did arbitrator Peter M. Seats rule in favor of in 1973, changing baseball forever? Here's something I found on the web. According to go.com, Arbitrator Peter Zeitz agreed with them that the reserve clause created only a one-year option, not the perpetual right to renew as the owners claimed. You didn't say the word. Got closer though, and you were kind of describing it, but you weren't, um... You weren't, it's not what I was looking for. Okay, Google, roll a dice. You rolled four. Okay, Google, what Irish organization has a political w wing called Sinn Féin? According to Wikipedia, the Continuity IRA emerged as the paramilitary wing of Republican Sinn Féin. Do you want a little more context? Yes. The Irish National Liberation Army split from the official IRA with a corresponding split of the Irish Republican Socialist Party from official Sinn Féin. Official, Sinn Féin is renamed Sinn Féin the Workers' Party. Okay, I'm going to go with that because he said most of those words. <laughs> you get this one. For the record, I don't want Google to win. Who's, who's in the lead right now? Microsoft. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. Squaring off. I just kind of realized the brands behind all these people. Oh, wait, I gotta... Okay, so that was cool. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Five. Five, so... It's pink. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go for pink on pink. 
Hey Siri, who's been in mob movies, The Godfather Part 2, The Untouchables, Goodfellas, and Once Upon a Time in America? Sorry, I couldn't find anything like that. <laughs> I know if I asked her. Hey Siri, who's been in mob movies like The Godfather Part 2? Here's The Godfather Part 2. This brilliant companion piece to the original The Godfather continues the saga okay, of generations of successive power within the Hey Siri, family. stop! Tell my wrong device to shut up. Yeah. Hey Siri, who's been in mob movies like The Godfather Part Two, The Untouchables, and Goodfellas? Here's Goodfellas. Nope. Henry Hill. A poor Irish Italian growing up in 1950s New York City. Hey Siri, stop! I don't know if she'll ever get a, a point. Cortana, roll a dice. You rolled a five. You rolled a five. And there's an orange. Let's get for an orange. Hmm. The longer I read these, the better I'm going to say it out loud when I ask them. Oh my God. <laughs> Cortana, what type of newspapers did publisher Mort Zuckerman say women preferred because their arms are shorter? Should I read a snippet from typepad.com that might be related? Yes. Editor-in-chief Mort Zuckerman, the United States faces a credit crunch of epic proportions. I think we are facing the worst financial <laughs> crunch and crisis since the Great Depression. Zuckerman said on the January 20th, the McLaughlin Group. You have the entire banking system now that is virtually frozen. Ever heard the expression, hands down winner? Cortana, stop. Okay, so that was not what the question asked, so you do not get it. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Okay. No, not you. Four. I always do that one. I'm looking at this one and I ask that one. Alexa, roll a dice. Nine. Alexa is green. Uh, you Sorry, it? I'm not sure about that. Orange. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Okay, I can read this one now. Alexa! Who was the twin bro brother of death in Greek mythology? Here's something I found on the web. According to hubpages.com, Hypnus would also have a twin brother, Thanatos, the Greek god of peaceful death. Alexa, who was the twin brother of death in Greek mythology? Here's something I found on study.com. Epiphus was a Greek god, the son of Zeus, the god of the sky and other gods, and Io. Io, Zeus' first wife, spent years roaming the lands as a white heifer, which Zeus transformed her into to protect her. Okay, well, not what I asked. Okay, Google, roll the dice. You got five. Okay. okay, Google, what world chess champion was a high school dropout? On the website theguardian.com, they say, Profile of chess champion Bobby Fischer, Sport the Observer. Do you want a little more context? yellow, so you get a purple, pink. Yellow. On the website Cora.com, they say, not yellow, yellow is the opposite of purple so it does not match. If you wear yellow and purple together, you're going to look like a clown. Okay, I think I'm missing purples. That's interesting. Or is that a blue? 
It does look like a bow. Okay, so this is a bow. So, okay, I don't have a purple, I have a blue. Anyways. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Rolling. It came up too. Hey Siri, what brand of mineral water depicts the French Alps on its label? I can't find the answer to that on Good the Lord! Can you find the answer to anything? If my life depended on it, this thing would not be the one I'd pick. Alright. Microsoft's up. Cortana, roll a dice. I can't help with that right now. Cortana, roll a dice. You rolled a six. No, you rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, nothing out there. Green, okay. Cortana. What spice is traditionally sprinkled on a hot buttered rum? There might be something on thefreshcookie.com. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Assemble hot buttered rum. Boil water. Place tablespoon of butter batter into heat safe mug. Pour in dark rum and top off with hot water. If desired, top with a dollop of whipped cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon or nutmeg. Fine. Try using hot cider, and if non-alcoholic version is desired, omit rum and make with hot cider. Microsoft gets another point, and uh, again, tie in Google. Uh -oh. Alexa, roll the dice. Four. We're on yellow, okay. Alexa, what's the most frequently quoted line from FDR's 1933 inaugural address? Sorry, I don't know that. Really? <laughs> Everybody else on Earth does. Okay, Google, roll the dice. It's two. Is yellow. Is. Oh, okay, this one. Okay, Google. What 1985 Lionel Richie chart-topping four-word title repeated the same word twice? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. I wonder if a lot... Uh, let me ask Siri. I'm not going to give her the point. Hey, Siri. What 1985 Lionel Richie chart-topping four-word title repeated the same word twice? I don't have that information, but... She's supposed Richie. to be good at questions. Or music... Apple's saying, oh, you can ask him any music question, you'll know it. Nope. Okay. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Rolling. It's three. Hmm? I'm really losing faith in my... You know, of all of these, this one was like, okay. This one was like 40 bucks. This one was about 100. This one, I think it was 169. Might have been 100. That 
bloody thing was like 350 bucks. So, the price doesn't say everything about them, but it says a little something maybe. Okay, and obviously I could have used apps on phones or whatever for every one of these, but I wanted to have the actual device. So it's more, you know, they're not concerned they're using the same engine or something. Now, um, we're gonna use yellow on Siri. Hey Siri, what did North Vietnamese forces launch on January 30th, 1968? I can't find the answer to that on Good grief, how could you not know this? Do you know anything? Hey Siri, what is the name of the fourth planet? Mars is the fourth planet from the okay. sun and so the second smallest planet question. in the solar system after Mercury. That was from Wikipedia. Shall I continue? No. At least we know you can answer something. I mean, it did come back, oh, well, which solar system are you talking about? Anyways, Cortana, roll a dice. Twisters. Cortana, what unfinished F. Scott Fitzgerald story was published posthumously in 1941? There might be something on Wikipedia. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald, September 24, 1896 to December 21, 1940 was an American essayist, novelist, screenwriter, and short story writer, although he was best known for his novels depicting the flamboyance and excess of the jazz age, a term which he coined up during his lifetime. He published four novels, four collections of short stories, and 164 short stories. Nope. I asked you a simple question, you told me everything but the answer. All right. Alexa, roll a dice. Two. Round for the little lady. Alexa, what suntan lotion was developed by Dr. Ben Green in 1944 to protect pilots who bailed out over the Pacific? Alexa, what suntan lotion was developed by Dr. Ben Green in 1944 to protect pilots who bailed out over the Pacific? <laughs> she will not answer. Let's try variants of the question. Alexa, what suntan lotion was developed by Dr. Ben Green in 1944? Alexa, what suntan lotion was developed to protect pilots who bailed out over the Pacific? Sorry, I'm not sure. Okay, well, we tried several different ways to get an answer out of you. Okay, Google, roll the dice. You got four. I'm going for pink again. We really need to get a pink. Okay, Google, what TV Western closed in 1975 after 20 seasons on the air? Gunsmoke. According to Wikipedia, from there Gunsmoke remained in the top 20 for the next seven years, dropping out only in its final season. In May 1975, CBS canceled the series. Taking the lead. That's who I would expect to win anyways. Hey Siri, roll a dice. 
Rolling. It's five. Doesn't matter which direction I go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if you can get your first one. Okay. Alexa, what white? No, cancel. Sorry. Hey Siri, what White House lawyer first revealed the existence of an enemies list and hush money at the Watergate hearings? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Never heard of him. Okay, whatever. Cortana, roll the dice. Two. just going to have to do green again. I don't have a choice. For no points at all. Cortona, what country hosted the 1994 World Cup of Soccer? According to Wikipedia.org, the 1994 FIFA World Cup was the 15th edition of the FIFA World Cup, the world championship for men's national soccer teams. How could you not tell me where it was like I asked? Okay, he didn't need that coin anyways. Alexa, roll a dice. One. Why does your speaker sound so bad? Okay, Alexa is green, so... Well, you don't have green yet. Two watching. I lost somebody. Got bored with it, huh? Yeah, fair enough. Um, let's see. Um, Alexa! Who was the grand who was Grandmaster Gary Kasparov's arch rival for the World Chess Championship in 1980s? Sorry, I'm not sure. Let me try doing that without stumbling over my words. Alexa, who was the Grandmaster Cancel? Not the Grandmaster. Alexa. Who was Grandmaster Gary Kasparov's arch rival for the World Chess Championship in the 1980s? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, in 2007 he tied for first place with Julio Granda, Guru Zanakobian, Darcy Lima, and Eduardo Iturizaga in the American Continental Championship in Cali. Nope. Bunch of names I don't need. Okay, Google, roll the dice. You got two. And Google is yellow. I think you can share a space. <laughs> Okay, Google, what does WWD mean in fashion circles? Women's Wear Daily. Bam. According to Wikipedia, Women's Wear Daily is a fashion industry trade journal sometimes called the Bible of Fashion. What? No. Hey, Siri, we're all done. It's six this time. Okay. Um. Hey Siri, what 1976 movie inspired millions to add the word yo to their vocabularies? Sorry, I can't help you with Red Bull TV. Let's try this again. Hey Siri, what 1976 movie inspired millions to add the word yo to their vocabularies? I couldn't find any films matching inspired millions to add the word you to the Rubble Gamblers released in 1976 playing nearby. Okay. Orloff can be 
Yo. Yo. Cortana, roll the dice. Ten. Cortana, roll a dice. You rolled a three. So chipper and happy. Cortana, what was dentist Robert Arthur the first to fill cavities with in 1855? Should I read a snippet from ADA.org that might be related? Yes. 1855, Robert Arthur originates the cohesive gold foil method allowing dentists to insert gold into a cavity with minimal pressure. The foil is fabricated by annealing a process of passing gold through a flame making it soft and malleable. Hey, S Alexa, roll a dice. Five. Yellow. Alexa, what did Lieutenant Hiru Onada discover on February 24, 1974? 16,876 days. Nope. He discovered World War II was over. Where was he hiding? <laughs> oh, I think I heard that story once. Anyways, um, okay, Google, roll the dice. You got three. Can you get to orange? No, you can't get to orange. Wait, yeah, Google's, Google's yellow. So, we can get to roll again. Okay, Google, roll again. It's three. Okay, Google, roll again. You got four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, we're closer. Okay, Google, roll the dice. You got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ta da, we're on orange. For the win. <laughs> Eee, ouch. Okay, Google. What country's female caddies chose to wear helmets after 500 of them were hit in the head with golf balls? Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, Google. What country's female caddies chose to wear helmets after 500 of them were hit in the head with golf balls? My apologies. I don't understand. Okay. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Two. Hmm. And you are pink. Going for yellow. Someday you're going to get a question you can answer. Oh, I can't. I've got a bunch of Roman numerals in there. I don't want to try and figure those out. We're on yellow. Hey Siri, what Nazi doctor skeleton inspired the most 1985 headlines? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Siri sucks. Okay. Cortana, let's save yourself. Roll the dice. I can't help with that right now. Cortana? Roll a dice. Four. Need blue or orange. One, two, three, four. Okay, blue.
Cortana. What Hogan's Heroes star was imprisoned in the Otmuth and Buchenwald concentration camps during World War II? Did I stutter? <laughs> Buchenwald? Buck Buchenwald? I don't know how to pronounce that. Cortana. What Hogan's Heroes star was imprisoned in the Otmuth and Buchenwald concentration camps during World War II? just doesn't want to answer. I see her light up and then she goes away. Cortana, what Hogan's hero star was imprisoned in Otmuth concentration camp during World War II? Want to hear something related from Wikipedia? Yes. Hogan's Heroes is an American television sitcom set in a German prisoner of war. Pow. Camp during World War II that it ran for 168 episodes, six seasons, from September 17, 1965, to April 4, 1971, on the CBS network. The longest broadcast run for an American television series inspired by that war. Bob Crane starred as Colonel Robert E. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the answer. Alexa, roll the dice. Six. All right. Alexa. What country officially decreed an end to its war with Germany in 1955? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Fail. Okay, Google, roll the dice. It's three. One, two, three. Let's go for an orange again. Okay, Google. What part of Diamond Jim Brady's body was six times the average size, according to an autopsy? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Wasn't sure that was going to be PG or not. Okay, well, Google loses on that round. I see I've got some more viewers. Welcome. We are uh, squaring off between Amazon, Google, Apple, and Microsoft. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Okay. Five. Doesn't matter where she goes. One, two, three, four, five. The purple. Hey Siri, what Grapes of Wrath novelist studied marine biology at Stanford? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Oh, you are so worthless. Why are you only looking on HomePod? You should have a better source. Cortana, roll the dice. Double fives makes ten. Cortana, roll a dice. Three. Cortana, what assassination victim was the only U.S. president to die without leaving a will? There might be something on foreignpolicy.com. Do you want to hear it? Yes. The president took 79 agonizing days to die, during which time the United States essentially lacked a president. Fail. Alexa, roll the dice. Four. Let's do purple for Alexa. 
like so. Alexa, who appeared topless on the self-penned 1993 novel Pirate? Alexa, who appeared on the self-penned 1993 novel Pirate? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, it won album of the year at the 2010 Edmonton Music Awards and appeared on the Yeah, not the answer I'm looking for. Okay, Google, roll the dice. It's six. I'm just gonna keep jumping. Jump into oranges if I can help it. I may be trying to finish this. Okay, we're back down to three viewers. Okay, Google, who was the only act in Billboard history to replace itself at the top of the singles chart? On the website billboard.com, they say, Bieber passes the torch to himself as his new leader dethrones. Sorry, after three weeks on top, do you want a little more context? Yes. 9. Justin Bieber earns the rare honor of replacing himself at No. 1 on the Billboard Hot 100, dated Feb. 13. As Love Yourself rises 2 to 1, unseating, sorry, 1 to 2, after three weeks atop the chart. Well, I feel like that has happened since this came out, but it's the wrong answer. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Rolling. 1, a 3. That's a 4 over easy. Hey Siri, roll a dice. Okay. Four. Brown. Hey Siri, what did British politician Edwina Curie call one thing above all that businessmen must take abroad to prevent AIDS? I can't find the answer to that question. <laughs> uh. Cortana, roll a dice. One. Cortana, who is Venus de Mayo a statue of? There might be something on history.com. Should I read it? Yes. One of the most famous examples of ancient Greek sculpture, the Venus de Milo is immediately recognizable by its missing arms and popularly believed to represent Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and beauty, who was known to the Romans as Venus. The artwork was discovered in 1820 on the Aegean island of Melos, also called Milos. Okay, we got a tie between Google and Cortana, and Microsoft and, um, and, uh... I can't help with that right now. Yeah, sorry I said your name. Alexa, roll the dice. Three. this up here. Alexa, what city saw the first time the first pitch of the World Series was pitched outside the U.S.? Hmm, I don't know that. Ask a simple question, get a dumb answer. Okay, Google, roll the dice. You rolled three. Um. 
Okay, Google, what fruit did Marco Polo dub the Pharaoh's nut? Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, Google, what fruit did Marco Polo call the Pharaoh's nut? Coconuts. Okay. On the website aramcoworld.com, they say, among them was the uh, Venetian adventurer worry, Marco stupid, Polo, dude. who encountered the tree in Egypt in the 13th century, calling its fruit the Pharaoh's nut. That was pretty obvious. It didn't understand the word dub, so I used the proper English. Um, but that was a brown. He didn't even make the point anywhere. So, um, hey Siri, roll the dice. Rolling. It's four and four. Ozzy and Harriet, the square pair. Someday you'll get one of these questions and I'll be so proud of you, Siri. Oh, I, I can guess this one. He's still doing cars. If it's who I think it is. Um, hey Siri, what future TV talk show host was once a mechanic on Mercedes and Rolls Royce cars? Knew it. I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Oh, you don't know anything. I can guess the question, the answer, then hang on. <laughs> Cortana, roll the dice. You got an eight. Cortana, roll a dice. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blue, purple, whatever color that is. Cortana, what nation's name originally meant he struggled with God? I can't help with that right now. I'm going to try that again because that's what they, what she says when she flubs. Cortana, what nation's name originally meant he struggled with God? I can't help with that right now. Alexa, roll a dice. Two. Which is green. Alexa, what golfer took Athlete of the Decade honors for the 1960s? You've got three. Okay, Google. What Kenny Rogers hit shares its name with Kenny's real life mother? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Do you want to know what is Kenny Rogers' illness? No. Let's see if Mrs. Music over there from Apple, King of Music, knows a music question. Hey Siri, what Kenny Rogers hit shares its name with Kenny, Kenny's real life mother? I can't find the answer to that on her. Doesn't point. help that I stutter, but whatever. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Dice. Be nice. Five and six. We'll just go five. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Yellow. Let's try something out of this. Hey Siri, what's America's oldest civil rights organization? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. Why are you so worthless? This is almost finishing up exactly like I expected. I expected Google to win. I expected Siri to not get any right. So far, they're not letting me down. 
Did not expect Microsoft to show so well. Didn't expect Alexa to do so badly. Cortana, roll the dice. You rolled a four. This one's not worth any points. Cortana, what kind of gun was used to kill Abraham Lincoln? Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one, but I'm learning. Okay, if you're learning, it was a Derringer, but I don't think you're listening to me anymore. Anyways, um, Alexa, roll a dice. One. Alexa, what 1948 manifesto was penned to do for history what Darwin's theory has done for biology? Here's what I found on Darwinism's Wikipedia page. Darwinism is a theory of biological evolution developed by the English naturalist Charles Darwin and others, stating that all species of organisms arise and develop through the natural selection of small, inherited variations that increase the individual's ability to compete, survive, and reproduce. Here's what I found on biology's Wikipedia page. The term biology... Alexa, stop. Not the answer I'm looking for. Okay, Google, roll a dice. It's one. Okay, Google, who did Admiral Karl Donitz su succeed? Here is some information from the web that might possibly help. According to Wikipedia, Carrot One formally titled Leading Minister or Chief Minister. Listen, the 16th of September 1891 to the 24th of December 1980 was a German admiral during the Nazi era who briefly succeeded Adolf Hitler as the German head of state yeah. in 1945. Straight, you don't need this point. Okay, no point for you because you already had yellow. Hey Siri, roll the dice. Rolling. Four and three. Okay. Hey Siri, what percent of all paper clips are used to scratch ears or pick teeth? I can't find the answer to that on HomePod. I would never do either of those things with a paper clip, but whatever. Cortana rolled a dice. You rolled a two. This will be the win. Cortana, what American was on the cover of Time Magazine 27 times in the 1980s? Why am I not surprised? There might be something on Wikipedia. Should I read it? Yes. This is a list of people and subjects appearing on the cover of Time Magazine in the 1980s. Time was first published in 1923. Cortana, stop. Could have had it. You could have had the win, but you couldn't. You couldn't answer the actual question. You just want to tell me every lay that's on whatever. Alexa, roll a dice. Five. Okay. Let's give 
you a brown. <laughs> Alexa, could giraffes have swum away, swum away from the ark if it had sunk? Helps if I don't stutter. Hmm, I'm not sure. Alexa, can giraffes swim? Giraffes cannot swim. I'm calling that. <laughs> okay. Okay, Google. Roll a dice. You rolled four. goodness. This will probably be the win. Okay, Google, what gem is forever according to its ad slogan? Diamond. On the website gemnation.com, they say, a diamond is forever. The slogan that would become the most resilient in history would be created in the office of NW. You win. Make sure you don't need any other special tricks to win, but I think... Um, winning the game. Once you've collected one scoring wedge in each color, make your way to the hub and try to answer the game winning question. You must land in the hub by exact count. If you overshoot the hub, pick the spoke you want to move down and answer the question in the category you land on. Then on your next move, try again to hit the hub by exact count. When you do hit the hub, the other players select the category of the game winning question from the next card in the box. Answer the questions correctly and you win. Answer it incorrectly and you must wait for your next turn. Leave the hub, answer a question, and re-enter the hub again. Okay, so I'm just going to pick the category for uh, this one. And we're going to make it um, Stu Green. Well, Alexis, I mean, it's yellow, so let's go with yellow. He's a, he's a yellow player. He needs to answer his home question. It was his favorite color when we started this game. Okay, Google. What president had his barbecue steaks covered in the shape of Texas? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Okay, Google. What president had his barbecue steaks carved in the shape of Texas? Lyndon Baines Johnson. <laughs> On the website AmazingRibs.com, they say, Lyndon Baines Johnson was born in 1908, the first of five children. We win. Okay, of course, the search engine wins the trivia game. Um, I could keep going and see if Cortana can get it, but uh, we know Siri's never going to get any points. Siri sucks. Amazon's representative isn't half bad. Cortana could have won it, but she didn't. I can't help with that right now. Yeah. That's how it goes. Bing is decent, but it's not good enough. Google's, Google's where it's at. Anyways, thanks for watching my stream. Um, I always wondered which one would win. I knew that series sucked, but... So there we are. Uh, let me end this. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you just started, I see I've got a fifth viewer. If you just started, I'm sorry you missed... Uh, but what we did was we had all of these guys compete against each other in Trivial Pursuit. And of course Google won. Siri lost miserably. Cortana almost won. And Amazon, no such luck. Should I read a snippet?